So now we're ready to put our pages in our book. So I've already placed my score tape. This is half inch score tape, because remember, these are three quarter of an inch tall hinges. So you're going to be left with a quarter of an inch at the bottom here. So you have, once you put your half inch tape, you have a quarter of an inch left down here. Not that you can see it very well, but that's what you have. So you're gonna collect your pages. This is page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, and six. You put the envelope on the back. I should have waited to put the envelope on the back till after we got our pages on, but that's already there. So we're gonna start with page, let's start with page five, page five and page six. So you should be able to slip it on, because remember this is like um, just a little bit shorter than this eight inch pocket. So I'm going to slip that on. So you slip it on and you can see where the tape ends. That is telling you where you need to stop. And you're going to get it so it's squared up. It's hard to see it squared up. Here, or if you want to, you can square it up up front here. This is, this is going to be basically flat because we don't have our inside front cover in. So however you want to do it, as long as you square this up. You've got your half inch tape. You're going to get this squared up so it's straight. You're going to pull the tape on one side and then go ahead and turn it and pull the tape on the other side. So that one should be in and it should be squared up. Then you get page three, four, same thing. Get that over those hinges. If you, if by chance they don't fit, you can do a little snipping of the hinge, but you only do it to the end of the, just a little bit to the end of the tape. You don't go below the end of the tape. You want it, you want your page to stop there. So if you need to snip it just a little bit, same thing, you're going to get this stop where you see the tape, get it lined up with the page you just put in, that squared up, pull the tape on one side, turn it over, pull the tape on this side. And then you get page one and two. Here's page one. Page one and two. Oh, why can't I get that in? Okay. There. So get that lined up. Make sure all these are straight. These pages are all going straight. Pull the tape on that side and pull the tape on this side and they should be straight. So when you see them on this end, they should all be straight with one another in this way. So you, you probably have all done this before. So once you have your pages in, so next we're gonna work on our inside front cover. So get the piece that we've created. We have not adhered it down yet. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get the leftover bits from this, this paper. You already cut out off four inches, so you should have four inches left. So you're going to make uh, um, 
half inch strips, half inch strips that are going to be eight and three eighths inches tall on this in this direction. So get your strips cut. So this is eight and this is a half an inch by eight and three eighths, and you're going to just kind of lay them out like this. Make sure you are away from that fold line. So you're gonna get those in there and then you will cut the piece down here that will go from end to end here. And the piece here that will go end to end. So once you have that, that put in there and everything is straight and it's adhered down, you get the idea. So you have that paper in. So you have this paper that's making a little rim all around the inside front cover. Once that's down and make sure it's inked, then you're going to get this piece and you're going to just center it and put it down like that. So you're just gonna see a little bit of that paper underneath it. I use tape. I use tape all behind here and I put it down, but if you prefer to use glue, you can use glue. So that's getting that, that inside front cover done. So once all your pages are in, here's that first page you just put in. So once all your pages are in, you are going to have these gussets in between the pages. So this is um, that big gusset in between your first page and your album cover. So remember this is, what was, was this five eighths of an inch? So you are going to cut a strip, and I think I cut it like a half an inch. Yes, I cut an, a strip that's a half an inch, and I just went through my scraps. And I picked out a paper that I thought would match with each of, that would complement both this page and this page. For this, this one, I picked this paper. I had a scrap of this paper left. So you can see where I put that in. So that's the one I used for there. For this one, I used, I had a scrap of the, the blue snowflake. And I have no idea where I got it. I was just going through my cutoffs and my little scraps. So that was the half an inch strip that's put in between these two pages. For this one, it was the plaid, the red plaid. So that was the half inch strip put between these two pages. And here it was the green paper. I had a little strip of the green paper and I put that in. And the, the rest of, of it is just embellishing it, going through your, your cut aparts, your, all your other tags. There's lots and lots of tags that you can work with and you can cut them out, see what you wanna do with them. Do you wanna put something in here? Do you, what would you like to do? You've got so many things that you can cut apart and put in your album um, and fill it up with all the things that you love because there's going to be so many of these cut aparts that you can work with. But I think we got everything done. And I think that's it.